Hi guys! Welcome back and welcome back to another food-related video with me. So I recently went home to Baguio and before riding the bus back to Manila, I dropped by the Pasalubong area and this Baguio girl doesn't know majority of the products being sold now. So if you're going to ask me what is good to take home from Baguio, I wouldn't know. So I got several products and I'm so excited to do this video because I am going to be doing a taste test with you guys. And as a Baguio girl, will I recommend this to you? Will you take home these products in front of me if you are coming from Baguio? So that is what we're going to find out. And because I am pretty really excited, let's just get started. First, we will taste is the Cat Cat Peanut Roll. So it's this little babies. And up close, they look like this. Go ahead and taste it. My first reaction upon looking at this little baby is Shanghai Lumpia. So it looks like, for me, Shanghai Lumpia. So there's peanuts inside. It's wrapped in this pastry-like wrapper. And it is coated with sugar. And it tastes like peanut brittle. So if you want an alternative to peanut brittle, I think this peanut rolls is a good one. And it's very sweet. So if you have a sweet tooth, you will like this little baby. So up close, this is it. Next on our list is the Cat Cat Mallows with Feelings. So they have four flavors. They have the chocolate, mango, cat, matcha, and strawberry. So I got the matcha flavor and it looks like this, this little baby. There you go. It's actually really cute. It's so tiny and it is very, very soft. So let's see if it has a feeling inside. Oh, I got all the feeling, but there is feeling inside. I like matcha. I enjoy matcha drinks and matcha food. But if you if you're expecting this to have matcha flavor, it's very, very, very little. And the feeling can be a little bigger for the size of the malus. So, Cat Cat, if you're watching, this is a very interesting pasalubong for our visitors and for our family and friends, I would just suggest that you make the matcha flavor more distinct and the filling a little bigger, a little more proportionate to the size of the mallows. But this is not bad. I actually have three products from Cat Cat and the third product that we will be tasting is the Strawberry Sampalok. So this is it. Strawberries, sampalok. It looks like the sampalok candy that we used, to, that we are used to eating. So I've never heard of strawberry sampalok. That's why I got some intrigued. I got it. So let us taste if there is a hint of strawberry or does it taste like sampalok? Okay, I was really tasting the sampalok, the strawberry sampalok, but for me, it tastes like sampalok only. You could have just eaten the sampalok itself. There's really, I'm so sorry, but there's like no really strawberry in it. It's just sampalok and there's a seed. I just got out the seed of the sampalok. So if you're expecting this to be a fusion of strawberry and some palok, guys, you're just, for me, eating some palok. There's only a hint of strawberry, but you will hardly taste the strawberry. You will taste more the some palok. So if you want to buy this, I will not really recommend that you get it. You're just eating some palok, the some palok candy that we are all used to. There's nothing really special. 
special about the strawberry sampalok. My fourth product that we will be tasting is the Lengua de Gato from Pines Best. So this is their label. Yeah, I'm usually used to the oval type Lengua de Gato shapes, but this is kind of irregular in shape. So let us taste if this is good. I am so sorry, Pines Best. This is not as good as the other brands that I was enjoying before. I was expecting something that's creamier, that like melts in your mouth, and it's in the softer side. But this lengua is kind of rough. It does not melt in your mouth. It's not creamy. Milky flavor that's missing as well. This still can be improved. So, guys, if you want to try the Pines Best again, this one, Pines Best Lengua de Gato, for me, also it's a no go. You could get another Lengua de Gato brand. My fifth product, my last product also for this video, is the Baguio Paradise Strawberry Crinkles. So, it's and this is the label. And you could already see the crinkles that's inside. So let me bring out one and show you up close how it looks like. There you go. So cute. I like it. Aside from pink is my color, this is the perfect pink. It looks appetizing. And it said here that kids tasted mother approved. Will the kid indeed? approve it as well. So, cheers guys! This is good guys! This is good! Up close again. I wish I could give this other half to you because this is good! If you want to level up your crinkle game, guys, this strawberry crinkles is the bomb. It is good. For a Baguio Pasalubong, this is not bad. I actually have the ube flavor as well. The ube crinkles. Wait, I'll just open that up and I'll show you how the ube looks like. This is how the ube looks like. It's also so cute. It's color violet. And let us taste if it, it tastes like ube. Oh my god, this is better. This is better. This is better than the strawberry, but the strawberry has its own flavor. But this is also good. I hope I want to give this to you. If you're watching, you should taste it. It's good. It's good too. Mm -hmm. If you're in Baguio, get these two. Get these two. This is good. This is good. And I think I got this for three for a hundred. So, oh my gosh, guys, you can hoard and you get this. This is good. It's so, the ube has its flavor, the strawberry has its flavor. It's good. It's good. That's it. This is a go for me, guys. Please get this. If you're in Baguio or coming to Manila, can you please get this for me as well? I highly recommend that you guys get this from Baguio. That is it for all the food that we are tasting for this video. So if I will choose my top five, so which food will be my top one and top five, I think you guys already know which one will deserve the first place and which food will be the last. So let's start with the last. So my fifth choice among all the food that we have tasted today is the Lengua de Gato of Pines Best. My fourth choice of food is the Strawberry Sampalok from Kat Kat. My third choice of product is the Kat Kat Mallows with Feelings. Against this one, my second is 
the peanut rolls from Kat Kat. And for my top spot, which I think that you guys already know, I wish they could share the top spot. But again, it's the strawberry crinkles and the ube crinkles from Baguio Paradise. So Baguio Paradise, good job. This is really, really good. And it is really special. Actually, on their label, they said that it is special. It's really special. So if you are in Baguio, you have not tasted this, guys, taste it. If you're not from ba Baguio and you're visiting my hometown, I, um, I highly recommend that you get this as pasalubong for your family and your friends. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was able to give you an insight on what to take home to your family and friends. And I am pretty sure, because I enjoyed it, that they will like it too. To all the Baguio brands who are watching this, you are making this Baguio girl so proud. I am so happy that there are a lot of products already coming out for our visitors who are visiting our hometown. So that's it. Thank you again so much for watching and spending your time with me. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!